here in my dream car. And I'd say probably not, even though it is just a car that I did fall in love with. And I do plan on keeping it for a while. I mean, me and the car, it has, like, we come a long ways in this short period of time, and I tend to like the car a lot, actually. But if it's, if I had to classify it as a dream car, I probably wouldn't do so. Why am I so passionate about cars? I mean, I really don't know, actually. It's, it's like a lifestyle now, and I feel like when I'm down, I can turn the cars because they don't actually get on my nerves unless you're trying to install something that is, man. You know how that is. I just feel like it's a way for me to get away from the world if I'm driving my car or working on my car, washing my car, something with cars. Just like how people go to alcohol or smoking just for their reasons or whatever. I feel like they should respect me for my love for cars. I mean, it's not an addiction or anything, but hey, it works. Some of my long-term goals are to, they were to finish college, you know, do the normal thing that people do, go find a job, work under somebody else. But now, I realize I hate working under somebody else. I hate punching in on somebody else's clock. I don't like any of that. So, I mean, I don't know. I just want to start my own business and maybe pursue a career in doing something that I love, even though I love not working. I don't know how that sounds, but that's just what I want to do. And I know it's going to be hard to find a quote unquote job or money income where I don't have to work for it, but like they always say, if you're doing something you love, then you don't really count that as working. And I'm a firm believer in that. is a lot of people do ask me like PJ why did you start YouTube like you're taking up all your time doing these YouTube videos they don't they might not go anywhere you ever thought about that and I'm like yeah I actually did think about that but I mean I'm passionate about this I'm passionate about my life with cars I'm passionate about all of this and that really doesn't matter to me at the moment but if I get five, six, seven years down the road and see that it's not working for me, then I'll consider doing something else. But until then, I'm just gonna keep on doing this because it's what I love. I do, I do. I feel like in the long run, if I keep this up, all my consistency and persistence will pay off and YouTube will be my only income that I depend on other than you know me starting my own brand or whatever. But yeah, I do think that it'll take care of me in the long run. If you don't build your own dream, someone else will hire you to help them build theirs. I'm a firm believer of doing what I want and not what someone else wants me to. I have goals and dreams that I want to achieve one day. If it is to be, it is up to me. I mean, that's what the Marston Project is, right?